day on Strange Places, we explore an abandoned train with a very disturbing past. We go through the commuter rail cars awaiting scrapping on rarely used tracks, and we take a look of what remains inside. And Max gets into the cockpit of an active and running train without permission. So follow your host Max Power and Viatus into this abandoned and haunted train. Hello, welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare to And I'm your host, Max Power. Today on Strange Places, we are going to be exploring this abandoned train. Now, according to my sources, this train is most likely a train that hit and killed a woman in 1991. Here is part of that video. At this point, the woman was hit by the train traveling at 60 miles an hour, killing her instantly. Look online, you can search the full video where the woman actually gets hit and thrown to the side like a rag doll. It's pretty disturbing, which is why I did not include it in the video, and I really don't want to exploit someone's death uh, for entertainment purposes. So if you haven't already, please go down there right now. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on. It really helps me out a lot. And here's the best part. You'll be able to see Strange Places videos. The moment they come out, scroll down right now. It'll take you five seconds. Now we take you to the abandoned haunted train on Strange Places. I already did a video on this train behind me. I did not know that this is the train that uh, hit that woman back in the 90s. I've already made a video on this, so I'm just going to do a very quick run through. If you want to see a much more detailed video on this engine and then a few more cars that are not here anymore, um, that they've moved, go check out uh, my previous video on this place. The link is going to be in the description. But of course, in that video, you're not going to see all of this, which is brand new. So let's go check this out real quick. The inside of the locomotive was hollowed out with no trace of the diesel electric motors that used to power the beast. The engine was most likely salvaged. At the front of the locomotive lies a decaying cockpit with rusting instruments that used to control the train's speed, braking, and other important functions. So you know how it says tools below? That's where they keep the strange places haters. Just some hardware. Cool, it's a passenger train. Like a Metra. In Chicago we have the Metra. The Metra is our commuter train. And that's how we get in and out of the city when we don't want to drive. I think this is an old Metra train. Okay, so I was right about this being a Metra. This looks exactly like the Metra. I live in Chicago. I use the Metra all the time. And it looks exactly the same. Same configuration, same layout. Actually, it doesn't even look that outdated. This pretty much looks like a car that they'd still be using today. Obviously, there must have been some problems with it, or obviously this thing is obsolete in some way because it's sitting here. Another interesting car. This is not what I'm used to seeing on the Metro. This interior is dated. This doesn't look anything like the modern Metro. It's definitely a Metro from maybe like the 80s or 90s. Now we know that they abandoned these train cars because they were obsolete and they were old. It used to flip from one side to the other. So if you want to face each other, you just go like this. But they still do this on the Metro today, but it's a little bit different. They, they move a lot smoother and they don't they don't have to flip, they just like kind of move this way. I wonder why they had this. Stuff. What, is, what is this from? July 23, 2015. This is what's in the cockpit of this train car. Funny story, I was actually in one of these in the actual cockpit of the train illegally. <laughs> They didn't put any signs up that said like you can't be in there, so I just kind of walked in uh, while the train was running. I was going from Chicago to the suburbs, and I decided to walk in here, and everything was functioning. The radios were going, um, all the controls were active, and there was no there was no lock on the door, no 
keep out sign, so I just went in. I was just chilling in there filming. Kind of funny, so I've been in one of these while it's running. And uh, this one looks a little outdated too. By the way, this cockpit is much different than um, the cockpit of the other train that we saw. So I know in the Metro trains, the engine cars, they have a big diesel engines. And those engines are actually not powering the train. Those engines power a generator which generates electricity for electric motors. So it runs on diesel electric. This is a passenger car. There's no diesel engines, there's no big electric motors, there's no anything like that. This cockpit is just designed to control the engine which would probably be at the opposite side. So I guess you could call this the caboose even though sometimes um, you will see these leading. This side is way cooler than um, the one I was just on. Based on what I'm seeing, I'm assuming that the engineer sits in the right side of the train car. Unlike uh, an airplane or an automobile where the driver is always, at least in the United States, always on the left side. All the more complicated controls are on this side. We don't have a throttle. This is something new. All this stuff is new. We didn't see any of that stuff over, over there. Um, a lot more dials, buttons, that kind of thing. <laughs> what up, bro? We're joined by Vietus. Check him out, Vietus Adventures. Vietus5 on Instagram. Yep, this is what Vietus does. Can I climb so, in here? No way. I don't know. Yo, we got a serious problem. We got Vietus on a train now. I think he's about to hijack this. Vestibule area. Emergency system. Oh, that's cool. I'm awful to use without valid. Uh, this last car that I've just been walking through is the entire thing has been stripped. There's nothing here. On the top floors, we still have seating. I don't know what they did with the seating. Maybe they put it in a, um, an operational car. As we walk through this train, every car, it seems like, is getting more and more stripped. I walked in here and I'm like, this car is, feels bigger, but it's, it's not. Just everything has been cleared out. We wanted to get a view out one of the windows, so we tried to open the emergency exit. We're gonna, guys, we're using the emergency exits to look out. Emergency exits, things suck. Can't get out? Is it a two person? It's not a one, no. If there's a fire on this train, we'd be dead. We literally. That might be one of the other reasons that these are abandoned is because it's impossible to get out of these trains if you're trying to exit in an emergency. So it appears as though everything that's been stripped out of all the other cars is that has ended up in these cars. These cars are just packed with just stuff. The last car was completely different from the rest. It had single seating fitted with tray tables like in a commercial airliner, indicating that food was served on board. This means it was most likely an Amtrak car which once took passengers across the country. Before we left, we decided to check out one more cockpit. There's different switches, there's a miles per hour dial right here, same levers that we saw in the last one, and some more buttons, almost nothing on that side. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also check out Vitus Adventures, Vitus 5 on Instagram. Link to that channel and it's the I'm your host Max Power. See you next time on Street.